Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Recently, I did a video on some body armor, some level 3A body armor. Shot it with a whole bunch of different pistol calibers. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But that vest was super cool. It's from a company called Safe Vest. But it stopped all of the bullets. And it was this, this type that you can wear under your clothes. It's kind of slim, nonchalant. This is the tactical version of that vest as you can see i've got a bunch of my p mags loaded up in here i was actually looking for some of these and forgot that i had stowed them away in this but i've been wearing it for a couple weeks if you follow me on instagram you would have seen this already a couple weeks ago when we got it in and started testing it out and wearing it but love this vest i'm actually really sad because I promised them we would test this one out and shoot it up too, which means I'm not going to be able to wear it anymore after today. But let me go take you to show you all the different rounds that we're going to test out on this baby. This is going to be awesome. So starting from left to right, we have 22 LR, 380, 9 millimeter, 40. Then we have 38 Special, 357 Magnum, 45 ACP. 45 Colt and I don't have a 44 Magnum anymore so I went ahead and brought out even more horsepower in the 454 Casul and it wouldn't be a hootie hoo video if we didn't do something ridiculous like shoot it with a 450 Bushmaster and a 50 BMG so yeah this is about to be awesome I almost forgot to tell you guys when I just left the house and told my wife I was going to test out some body armor she literally looked at me and said, are you really going to wear that and let Paul try to shoot you to stop the bullets? And I said, no, no. But the funny thing was, she thought that I was literally crazy enough to test this live. So do not try that at home. Do not test bullets with armor. This is good stuff. And I know for a fact it's going to stop all the pistol rounds because I've tested this quality from them before but don't try this at home don't let people shoot you with body armor on but needless to say this is what i'm working with here i got an old tank that we've shot up in other videos and i got these blocks kind of holding it in place but just to kind of simulate somebody wearing this thing and having something to kind of secure it there yeah i think that's actually gonna work just fine let me cinch him up here if I say so myself, that's actually a pretty good little safety vest test dummy here. See what it looks like on the back. And then, uh, better clip him up here. Come on now. Can't do this good one handed. But yeah, check that out. It ought to be pretty good. Maybe we'll do some. Man, that thing is solid. But, enough yapping. Yeah, I got all my stuff out of here. Knife, P mags. Like I said, I've been using this. I didn't want to shoot up my stuff, but. Let's go load up. I'm just gonna run through a bunch of stuff and show you guys what happens and we'll check out the vest, see if it's got any holes through it. All right, so here's the game plan. I'm gonna stand pretty much right here, which is three, four yards away, which is pretty close. And I'm just gonna run all the way up through 45 ACP, then we'll take it off and look at it. And then we'll shoot it with some more stuff. But first off the bat right here, we got the 22 LR. I think I put three in here. Let's see if this baby stops the 22. 22. Three eighty. Go grab the nine millimeter. This is my Smith Model Fifty Nine. Pretty sweet little pistol here. That uh, 
I definitely stepped up the power here. What's next? Uh, let's grab the 40. All right, now we got my 40. What is this? I never get it out. This is a SIG P239, 40 Smith & Wesson. See if it'll stop the 40. Oh yeah. This is my Model 66 seven shot revolver. I'm gonna shoot two 38 specials and then two and 357 Magnum. Those didn't have much pop on them. Let's shoot the 357 Magnums here. Yeah, you can definitely tell that 357 Magnum had some more horsepower and knocked our little man over there. I'm gonna have to go reset him up real quick. All right, so next, 45 ACP, which I'm actually carrying today, Glock 21. Let's hit him with a couple rounds of whatever it is I got loaded up here to carry. I have no idea what that is. Let's hit him three times, unless he falls over. Put that bag in the holster in case the boogeyman rolls up on us. But let's take that off and check it out and see what happens. We just hit that with a lot of rounds. All right. Like I said, we just plugged this dude. Sorry, buddy. With quite a bit of horsepower. Let me take these down here. I'm going to lay them out on the table and see if anything broke through there. <clears throat> Needless to say, if you were wearing that thing, uh... You'd be pretty sore right about now. But, let's peel that off of them. And, lay it down here. So, let's check it out. So, hitting it with all that, you can see it's kind of wet from that tank having some rainwater in it. We've got, a tear there, a little tear there, and a little tear there, but none of the bullets actually came through. I can feel them in there. So it definitely stopped the bullets, but yeah, you would be hurting something pretty bad if you got hit with one of those, not to mention all of them. You can see how it kind of puffs up there it's actually got a bunch of layers of material in here. But yeah, let's compare it to the other side. See how skinny it is before it got hit? Look at it after it got hit. All those layers of whatever that fabric material is. So it stopped all those bullets. The force while on that dummy tore the fabric just a hair in a couple spots. Let's look up close at all the bullet hits. I pretty much shot them all in the same spot, so that didn't help them either, did it? Oh yeah, solid vest. Definitely would save your life, but I wouldn't want to get hit by all that. But let's go load up the 45 Colt and the 454 Casul and see what happens. All right, now I've got out one of my absolute favorite firearms. This is my Taurus Raging Judge Magnum. A lot of people like to say, ooh, a judge, whoopie doo dah, we've seen that 10 years ago. This is the Raging Judge Magnum. It's twice the size of a regular judge. If you just look at it in my hand. I'm a big dude and that makes my hand look small, but let's shoot a 45 Colt out of this, then a 454 Casul. This thing normally shoots some pretty good fireballs. This definitely has some horsepower. I flipped the vest around to the back, so we're gonna be shooting the back now. The, uh, the front is a little bit compromised. 45 Colt here, which is nothing to sneeze at either. Either. All right, now the 454 Casul. I 
definitely saw a fireball on that one and we pushed him back let's go look at that quick before we uh bring out the rifles that was kind of cool because it kind of showed us the difference between the 45 colt and the 454 casole a lot of people say oh they're about the same you can hunt with both of them but i'm here to tell you um at least in those two loadings 454 casole is a monster 45 colt hey it's got some horsepower too if people hunt with it but the 454 casole is no joke but let's see here we got our two hits one two I think the, the top one was the 45 Colt. Let's uh, kind of swing this guy open here. Let's see what we see. Woo wee. Yeah, so same story. Might as well move the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at the dent. Look at the dent. And where do those bullets go? One, two. So that would be uh, your chest. And this this is not too terribly thin so yeah both of those would hurt but you can see none of them went through you can see those are rusty holes that hole was already there and so was that so both of those definitely slapped this metal tank silly but they didn't go through it did tear the back fabric so yeah it would get hurt if you hit with that the pressure from those two real hot rounds tore the fabric but they didn't come through the fabric so would it save your life yeah but it's gonna hurt but then again i don't know anybody carrying around a 454 console on their hip anyway so but hey if you got them you might as well smoke them as you can see the hottest pistol i got out here 454 console this vest stops it and of course everything else smaller so hey this stuff is no joke and it's actually pretty affordable I wish I had one that wasn't ruined now. I'm going to have to go check them out again. But let's go grab the 450 Bushmaster and the 50 BMG and see what happens. Maybe we can make a hole in this tank. Here's what I'm going to do. This side of the tank doesn't have any entry holes. It just has an exit down here. So we'll be able to tell if those rifle rounds actually go through this tank or not. All right, now the 450 Bushmaster, I've got loaded in it some 275 grain Hornady XT, XPBs, I think, loaded by Black Butterfly. Let's go ahead and pop them twice. Uh, yeah, three yards with a 450 Bushmaster and see what happens. Don't try this at home either. Oh yeah, a lot more power than that. Let's go uh, pick him up. Maybe we don't have to shoot him more than once. Well, there's what the 450 Bushmaster did. Put that hole right through it. So, oh boy. 450 Bushmaster definitely has some punch. That's one of my go-to deer rifles. But, hey, um, there's where it came out the back. Somebody would ask me if I didn't show it. There's where it came out the back in and out nasty on both ends but let's go grab the 50 and see what happens maybe it'll give us a better backflip all right now we got my barrett m99 and 50 bmg and my arms already hurt from carrying this sucker but you can see this thing is dirty we've had this out in the woods deer hunting stay tuned for that footage but anyways oh uh, yeah 50 bmg see what it does to this vest here man my arms are wore out already well, we don't need it set for 100 yards, do we? Do we? Wow. I think that sucker went clear through it going so fast. I'm going to have to roll back the footage there and see what happened. Well, I rolled back the tape. We definitely hit it with the 50 BMG, but I guess that bullet is just going so much faster. And it's a full metal jacket. That 450 Bushmaster was a hollow point. Just zinged right through it. But let's see if we can take the jacket off, look at the hole, see if it made a hole in that tank. Tape looked like we hit it somewhere. Oop, I did the wrong side. 
Tape looked like we hit it somewhere near the center. Kind of hard to aim the 50 at a three yards away, but yep, there's that hole right there. There's a really clean hole, which means it was going fast. See that hole right there? That's the one we just hit with the 50. And of course we better show the vest. Yeah, here's what it did coming out. There's where the 450 Bushmaster came through. And there's where the 50 came through. Pretty wicked stuff. So it hit actually right there. Right there. So, pretty sweet. Looks like right there. Oh, we gotta get a better shot of this. Let me get the camera fixed. And, so, you guys gotta see this. Look at that. There's where those two rounds came through that tank on the other side. Oh, shoot. And look at that. That 50 BMG. There's where it came out the back. So, 50's got lots of power. Went through the front, the tank, and the back. But, the 450 Bushmaster did not come out the back. I'm glad we looked at the back. So, pretty wild there, guys. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. I don't know about you, but I had a whole lot of fun. This sucker stopped every single pistol caliber we threw at it, even up to the 454 Casul. So, this thing is awesome. Like I said, I wish I didn't have to destroy it, but eh, we got to have fun destroying it. Thanks to Heavy Metal. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Big thanks to them for letting us use their range today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Check out these vests. Probably the cheapest body armor that actually works you can find. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo -hoo.